math on that. I'm getting ready. Oh. I'm getting ready to go on my trip. Hopefully, I'll be camping near Mount Fuji tonight. So, I don't know. Is all of these bags okay? I hope so. These poor blinkers are getting squished though. Anyways, this is my home for the next eight hours. <sighs> Goodbye, welcome. So I guess I should take talk about, so not wasting the film, waiting for her to get here. I got some bags from Nelson Rig, as recommended by Cycle Cruiser. Honestly, I can't really stand that guy, though he says RR, but I think he's got a good choice in bags. It looks a little lopsided, but this is a lot more dense than this is, but I think it should be okay. Ohio goes I am was. I miss you too. I'll see you. I'll see you in two days. Be careful. Okay, I will. Okay. Bye bye. I love you. And this is why you like having a motorcycle during Golden Week, because there's a big old traffic jam. Mm, but not for me. I don't know these guys, by the way, but I think they're my buddies. I don't think this is legal, by the way. That's also a good way to get a flat tire. So yeah, I guess uh, as long as the cams roll, let's talk about touring on a CBR 1000 because I did this last year on a CBR 600 RR and it was rough. Oh, there's cops up ahead. I don't know if I see an accident or something. Anyways. Yeah, I'll, I'll put a picture up, but I was strapped in on my 600RR. I got sh shit strapped all over the place. I had a backpack on and it was rough. It looks like we have an accident. I gotta say though, Google, Google Maps is pretty damn impressive. Like, they knew what was going on right before even they got even, even slowed down. So, but this is much more comfortable. I don't, I, don't, I couldn't bring quite as much stuff as I could because I, I, I made my life miserable last year because I tried to bring too much. But it's not so bad. Hmm. This is weird. I guess this cop car is just gonna make a little road for us. Yeah, don't pass the cop. Passing the cup. Mm, that's no good. And their golden week is ruined. Yeah, the the, the one thousand R is much better. You know what? This is coming from a guy who's never toured on an actual touring bike before. It's always been super sports, but I say you don't even need a fucking touring bike. You got a USB plug right here. I just bought some bags that hold more than, you know, more than enough. And I even, I even bought like a kind of a cheap set of bags, not even like a nice set of bags. Like I bought, the bags cost me like maybe $200 and that was with shipping and everything all over Japan. It was real, it was real affordable. Um, got, it's not like I'm like overloaded or anything. The bike is still really light and loose. Um, yeah, you, who needs a touring bike? I mean, yes, it's a little uncomfortable, but you know, like people think that when you're on a sport bike, you gotta ride like this, right? But 
like I can put I, I can set up straight I can sit in like a standard seating position it's great mileage I don't know what I mean I don't know what, it, what I don't know what a big big BMW gets but I can't imagine it's much better or worse than what this is and then you know what and then when I'm up, when I'm done with my trip and I want to just tear something up I've got a bike that's more than capable of doing it but you know I don't I rode my friend's BMW and it it was I don't know, maybe I'm just like not worthy of it, but to me it was unwieldy. The seat, I mean, and the seat, the only thing that could be, the only thing that you could be really prove is the, is the, the seat squishiness. It does get a little hard after a while, but you've only got so many, you can only go so many kilometers on a tank of gas, you know, you're gonna have to get off and stretch anyways. Like I said, I'd say that I'd rather have a bike that is fun to ride every day and tour with it, and, the, and it's capable of touring, then have a bike that's, you know, made the tour every day, but it's like kind of fun to ride when you want to ride it hard. Anyways, guys, that's a short one. That's a short video there. I'm trying to save as much footage as I can. I don't really want to do a lot of highway footage, but I thought that was interesting that I kind of, you know, lanes Glitted my ass off in front of some cops, so here we go. Bye bye. There's a city over there, of some kind. It looks like it could even be Japanese city.